the video has been copied from www.redrounds.com with permission the actual video which is of a CT scan of chest contrast and a CT scan of chest did not contain any voice turbing so I would like to use this uh, video to describe the anatomical structures as they are seen through the axial slices uh, so we the first slice is at the level of Z P sternum here uh, at the level of uh, diaphragm and we will be moving up towards the neck so this is the anterior aspect uh, of the front side of the patient this is the posterior side of the patient this is the lateral left left lateral aspect and the the right lateral side the rule of thumb is when you're looking at an x-ray the patient's left side should be on your right hand side and the patient's right side should be on your left hand side as if the patient is standing in front of you if this patient is supine is lying down on a table here and you are looking from the feet end of the patient so the rule is still followed the right side is towards the left hand side and the left side is towards the right hand side anyway so these are ribs this is skin and below the skin you can see fat this is liver the black shadows here are lungs this is esophagus this is a spleen here this is a diaphragmatic muscle here this is left lung uh, this is vertebra here we'll move up slowly you're beginning to see contrast the contrast uh, is an iodine compound that is injected into a vein uh, and the contrast eventually ends up in right atrium from right atrium it goes to right ventricle and uh, the pulmonary artery from right ventricle pushes the blood into lungs where uh, the uh, oxygen is absorbed into the blood the contrast is being diluted in blood and then eventually it ends up in left atrium and from left atrium it goes to left uh, ventricle so the the density of the contrast will be higher in right ventricle as compared to the left ventricle because uh, when it comes to left ventricle it has already been diluted with blood in lungs there is some degree of dilution in uh, right ventricle but it is more diluted in, in left ventricle and we'll see that in a minute so we'll move further up the right ventricle is is very bright because of the presence of concentrated contrast you're beginning to see the left ventricle here esophagus descending aorta uh, some liver is still visible through the diaphragm okay now you're beginning to see the contrast in left ventricle here this is septum heart lies oblique in the thoracic cavity not is straight so this is myocardium the left sided myocardium the walls are quite thick as you know as compared to the right side of the heart which is normal okay so we're going up now this is left atrium you can see valve here the contrast in left ventricle is diluted as compared to the right ventricle here okay so this is right atrium somewhere here the left ventricle will eventually give rise to aorta somewhere here this is left atrium again these lines and these dots are uh, pulmonary vessels either their branches of pulmonary artery or pulmonary veins so moving up you can see a pulmonary pulmonary vein draining oxygenated blood that has got contrast in it of course uh, into the left atrium from the uh, right lung here aorta the root of aorta if you notice you can actually see the aortic valve here the pulmonary artery beginning of pulmonary artery here okay 
you can clearly see aortic valve here these lines uh, pulmonary vein from left lung draining into left atrium descending aorta this will become ascending aorta very soon okay so few more branches draining oxygenated blood into left atrium now this is a filling defect here this is a branch of pulmonary artery or right pulmonary artery it should have contrast in it like like uh, it, the contrast should be as bright as here but you can see a filling defect which is a blood clot this is a case of pulmonary embolism you can see it's still you can still see a clot here this is contrast so we'll move further up it's still you can still see a clot here this is main pulmonary trunk okay clot is still visible here you can still uh, you can see a clot here as well in the left pulmonary artery branch of left pulmonary artery the main pulmonary trunk giving off right pulmonary artery you can see the blood clot here the clot is also visible here okay this is a very big clot okay going into both pulmonary arteries the filling defect is also visible here okay ascending aorta and descending aorta will join together if you go further up this is uh, trachea so this is arch of aorta now and thank you very much